Hi, I'm Fabio Varesano. In this little video, I show you how to assemble a J node. A J node is a very simple Arduino based wireless module which allows you to develop wireless application which uses Arduino. So basically it's just a PCB with handy connectors and RFN 12B module and uh, all the usual uh, crystals, all the usual capacitors and everything else uh, the usual Atimega Ati 328 in a deep, deep package and this is the this is the um, antenna, the wireless antenna used by the wireless communication module. Okay, so the nice thing about the G node is that it comes in kits, so that if you want to get to a complete node like this one, you will have to do some assembling. So. This is what you will get from the Gnode website, a kit with all the various components and you will have to assemble that doing some soldering. And uh, if you want to solder this kit, you will have, you will need, of course, uh, a good uh, soldering wire like uh, this one. I'm using this cheap quick lead free soldering wire you will also of course need a soldering station uh, or a very simple soldering iron i use this one and uh, i have it set it to 365 degrees you will also need some kind of uh, uh, cleaning um, metal cleaning for the soldering iron you can also use the regular sponge and water system but it's pref it's better to use metal cleaning like this one because it doesn't stress it doesn't uh, heat stress the soldering iron so we will also use a couple of cutters like this one so that's it, we don't really need anything too complex to assemble the G-Node. Ah, I remember that I also use a fume extractor because, uh, you know, breathing soldering fumes can be bad if, uh, if you get exposed to them for a lot of time, so it's better for you if you if you do your soldering in a, using a fume extractor like this one or if you are in a very well uh, in, in, a, in a open environment with uh, air circulation and stuff like that so let's start from opening the kit and let's see what's see what's inside okay Okay, so we have here all the components. We have the PCB. We have here the PCB. We have the Atimega microcontroller and it's uh, um, I don't know how to say it's deep case okay we also have a couple of 0 0.1 inches connectors which we will uh, solder as the last part 
of the video. We also have here the the wireless communication module. It's uh, this one is a uh, eight hundred sixty eight megahertz communication module. It's the RFM twelve BS. Okay. Uh, I can put this one here. This one is our antenna, which should be already in the right size, length. And we also have here a 3.3 voltage regulator, which basically is the component which converts your 5 volts of the Arduino into the free volts needed by the wireless module. We also have here an uh, electrolytic capacitor and this is the crystal which is the one which gives the clock to your microcontroller and we also have here a bunch of 0.1 microfarad uh, capacitors and a resistor. So that's it. We can start from the resistor. Okay, so I'm gonna insert the resistor in place here. I try to place it it, it 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 in the middle like that. Okay, and we can put it like that. And now we will do our first soldering. Take the wire. Okay, you can see that these are good joints because they well connect to the pad. The, all the pad is covered and there are no soldering balls uh, or stuff like that. So this is a pretty good joint. Now, the second time we go gonna do is cutting out these the resistor legs we will be we will try to do this carefully because if we apply too much force we can break the soldering join so we try to do it as gentle as possible Okay, check it out. Very simple. Okay, so it's now time to insert the deep socket here, which will carry our microcontrollers. Basically, we will be putting this here, and then the microcontroller will be applied there. Be careful when pla placing the socket because you will be you will need to be careful that this little carving here, this round stuff here, 
it's aligned with the silk screen and you're not you don't need to insert it, insert it in the opposite way like this okay so be very very careful now that you that you did this put it in the opposite way and do it your soldering you can start by soldering one of the pin here okay and now that you have your first pin soldered you should check that the socket here it's well aligned and you don't have space so this looks pretty good so we can continue to uh, uh, solder the remaining pins in case you you had too much space below the socket maybe you can reheat your soldering joint and and see if you can you can reduce the space below the, so the socket okay so now I'm gonna do I'm gonna solder everything and it's now time to start the Okay. Okay, now that I have uh, Okay, now now that I have uh, the I have soldered the socket in place on the piece beam, I can process to proceed to inspect the joints. And as you can see, this all looks like very good joints because as usual there are no balls all the co all the pad has been covered by solder they look very very good so, okay so the next next components we will be soldering is the crystal which is this one we can place it like that and I will be soldering the first pad here and 
then I will make it make it straight and then I will solder solder it a little bit from the other pads. Okay, note how I put the crystal markings on outside so I can read them when so I can read it when in case I need to replace it or anything like that. Okay, so it's now time to insert the various capacitors I would start with this uh, tiny the caps here oh this is the we still have to remove the legs of the of the crystal remember to do only one leg at a time okay perfect now it's time for the capacitors so this is the first hole when I insert them I I move them a little bit like that so that it doesn't fall down Okay. I still need a couple bit more here. That's it. Now we can do the soldering of them Okay, so let's see how as you can see that everything is pretty good. It's now time to cut out all the various legs. Time to insert the electrolytic capacitor. So, as usual, the the long legs is the anode, so the plus. So this is the way of inserting it. 
the long lead leg goes into the plus so that we have the white marking on the left okay you can move it like that stretch a bit the legs Seems good. Right then. Okay, so the last step. Well, it's to insert the voltage regulator. So basically, you will have to insert it like that. Okay, so. one leg here and like that okay we gently push it down you don't have to put it at the bottom something like this it's perfectly good we flex it a bit and we do our soldering that's it okay so now we can cut out the legs of the voltage regulator as usual one on one like that and now we get to the most difficult part which is soldering the wireless module so the way I'm gonna do this well the best way to do this would probably be to use uh, a little bit of tape to put it into place because you know this will move when we do our soldering but I will do a trick something like a trick here which is putting a bit of solder there
and then I will align it on the board. I will only remove the soldering iron when I see that the pads of the chip and that and the PCB are aligned. And that's it. You can see that it is quite perfectly aligned. And now it's time to do the remaining the remaining pads and I do the same this is very simple actually Be careful in uh, inspecting the, your joints so that you don't have any shorts between um, near pads, but this looks very good. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is insert the Atimega no, well, no. Let's place the connectors before, and we simply place our connectors inside the, the rolls, like that. And then we can proceed to the actual soldering. And that's it. And you can see that the connectors are perfectly in line. Very good. So we are almost ready. The next thing we need to do is to place a little bit of solder here because usually there would be a diode here but uh, 
it would ca cause you some problems like um, voltage drops and stuff like this so the Gino G Labs guys simply decided to not include it anymore so instead we can simply put it put it put here a ball of join a soldering ball like this so that uh, it's uh, simply shorted out and we no more need any diody and uh, so we are getting there we it's now now time for the Atimega microcontroller and uh, we can insert it by simply pushing it a bit so that it's more this and let's see if we can as usual be careful with the uh, with the little carving gear which should be aligned with the socket and with the silk screen and let's see if we can insert that it and this is it everything look, looking good and I can push and that's it okay this is our Gnode board we still need one component which is the antenna here you have it so the antenna should be already in the right length but check it if the Gnode website for just for, for checking it so be careful that the antenna can, can came with the correct line so I'm gonna remove a little bit of the wire covering so that I can then put it in the in this connector here I simply move it like that and I'm good to go there we go I cut out and that's it this is our Gnode version 6 soldered and ready to go and there we have them okay thanks for watching and goodbye